Hello, my name is Greg Bem, and I'm one of the Spokane Community College librarians. In this video, I'm going to provide a basic overview of one of my favorite Gen AI tools, Perplexity. Perplexity.ai is a research-oriented and search-oriented or answer generation Gen AI tool. And I will provide the overview now. The left-hand side is the sidebar, which can be expanded and collapsed. Uh, you can create a new thread by clicking on new thread. You can go home by clicking on home. You can click on discover to look at some articles that have been created by perplexity based on recent news mostly Gen AI oriented. And then there is the library of Gen AI output, including the history of research that's been done with Gen uh, Perplexity, as well as collections, which are their own interesting feature within Perplexity to serve as almost landing pages for information. Underneath your history of chats, you'll find the Try Pro option, and you'll get access to your count changes. You can do incognito as well if you don't want your search history saved, and you can edit your settings. You also can download Perplexity as an app, and you can access their X account and Discord account. Let's start a new thread. Ask anything. Tell me about the latest developments in Gen AI technology. Note that you can click on focus to set a focus for your sources, and you can choose various categories, including academic, writing, math, video, and social. You can also attach files to this, and if you had access to Pro, you would be able to update. However, note that with the free account, you still can use the pro search. Um, it provides five searches maximum. And every time you use a search, it will reload after four hours. So could be useful. Let's search without the pro for this prompt. The interface for perplexity provides the prompt at the top and then the sources as the second piece of information or the second section of the response. Then beneath, it creates, similar to Copilot, a response with in-text citations in a formatted way. And then underneath, you have the ability to share this output or rewrite it or copy it, or edit it, view the sources more directly, port the response, and so on. It then offers a semi-automated way of continuing the conversation, or you can ask your own follow-up, and you can also turn on Pro for your follow-up. If you click on Search Images, it will add images to this response, similar with video, and pro images, though you need to have access to the pro account in order to do that. Let's just use one of the automated questions to expand on the conversation. How is multimodal Gen AI expected to transform content creation? And there it creates our next response. And the same type of thing, it will provide the ability to create images and videos and also continue the thread. The nice thing about the different threads is that they are all combined in a single thread in your history. So if I click on this, it will have both of those saved in a single space. 
that is the basic overview of perplexity. If you have any questions about Gen AI tools, please reach out to the Spokane Community College librarians. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.